So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and in this video I'm going to be giving you a very quick and easy guide on how to get yourself the Wonder Bus Wonder Weapon within the Shadowed Throne. Let me know in the comment section if you found this useful, feel free to subscribe so you get up to date tutorials and easter egg hunts on the Shadowed Throne as well as a full guide when we complete the egg. And if this video helped you out I would really appreciate every single one of you to leave a like if you are logged into a YouTube channel. Now our first step to getting the Wonder Weapon within the Shadowed Throne is the battery. Now there are, I believe, three possible spawns for the battery for the Wonder Bus. There could be a fourth one, and if so, I'll update the description with a detailed screenshot and description of the location. But the first area that this battery could be in is it could be inside the museum, and there are two spawns. The first one is going to be right at the top of the museum, so you're going to make your way up the stairs and follow it around, and it's going to be next to the melee perk machine here, just by this dead soldier. You can pick the up and that's one of the potential spawn locations if it's not there then make your way down to the bottom of the museum and right next to this armor machine on the left on this crate by this dead soldier again you're going to notice another spot and your battery could be there waiting for you if it's not there then it could be in the theater which is going to be near the m1928 wall by so simply go into the theater make your way up the left side and then where you can see the uh, wall by just to the right of it, you may find the battery there. If it's not on either of those, then make sure to open the description. But once you've got yourself the battery, you're going to want to go ahead and complete some of the main Easter egg quests. Now, these steps aren't hard by any means, so we'll go through this and explain this as easily as possible. But you want to open up the map so you have access to the church area. And just before you go to the church, make your way to Main Street. And where the main radio is in the map in this section, you want to look at the letters and numbers numbers which are on the top of the radio so in my game and this can change and it will be different in your game there is a lot of different variations that it could be in my game this was zx0 so keep a note of that whatever it is write it down and make your way over to the church now on the walls of the church you're going to notice there is a map and then next to it is a chart you want to look on the map inspect the map and look for where you see the little pin drop as that will be in a general area so in my game the pin drop was dropped in an area called Tauto Flaming. So more than likely be different in your game but just look for where the pinpoint is on the map and then once you've done that you want to look to the left on the wall and you're going to see a sheet of paper with a load of sectioned off areas where it's coordinated with the names on the map. So on our game it was Telto Flaming. So I look on the piece of paper till I find Telto Flaming. Now that I've found Telto Flaming it's going to have a series number and then a band and then a model number and a frequency and if I look down for the series number our radio is ZX so in Telto Flaming I look down and I can see ZX which is on the bottom there I then look for the band and the first one we see is 84 and then the second number we have if we move over to the right next to the model number is 60 so I know that the two frequencies I'm going to be inputting into the main radio is 84 on the left and 60 on the right so I make my way back using the left stick I input the number 84 on the left side of the radio and then with my right stick I input 60 on the right hand side of the radio and these numbers might change in your game and also it might not be Telto Flaming and it might not be ZX on your radio as well so make sure you're noting down what is on your radio and where exactly on the map it's marked so that you know exactly what you need to put in but once you put it in right you should see a green light on the bottom of the radio and you know you've completed it because you'll have a conversation with the person on the radio and what you need to do now is go towards the church area and it's going to be a little ammo box that you're going to need to shoot the actual lock of it with a weapon and then knife the box to set off some flares which is going to release a zeppelin. The zeppelin is going to fly over the map and it's going to shoot any zombie nearby and turn one into one of the brand new sizzler zombies and by using a melee weapon and meleeing it you're going to get a geist bolt from that zombie. Now we have the geist bolt and the battery that's all the parts we need to build the wonder weapon so in order to build the wonder weapon you're going to want to open a door in the spawn room which leads you under the apartment section of the map and there's going to be a sort of gate within the middle of this room that you're going to want to place your battery in to allow you entry now once you're in 
You want to collect the battery so the doors close on you and you're locked in. And then all you need to do is simply put both parts down on the bench and you'll be able to simply build the Wonder Bus. And by shooting the Wonder Bus at the battery door it will allow you to escape and you'll have the brand new wonder weapon now this thing is actually really cool it's got two functions the left trigger shoots out a sort of bolt of sorts which will stick to zombies and will collect geistcraft energy now the right is a laser beam which will laser bunches of zombies and it's really effective and it's also used of course for main easter egg steps going forward now you have 100 ammo with the right trigger but it does run out quite quickly but the left trigger ability is awesome because you can use it to shoot at zombies and you collect their energy and what this does is it actually refills the ammo for the right trigger and the left trigger has infinite ammo so you can shoot as many of these darts at the zombies as you want in order to slowly refill the energy for the right trigger for your sort of laser beam I guess you could call it but there it is a simple guide to the wonder bus let me know if it helped you down below in the comment section just make sure to check the playlist link as well for more great and awesome helpful videos on this map and I'll catch you for another one very very soon